welcome back to Angels Light Tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for your monthly general message for December 2020. Yes, we're finally in the month of December, Pisces. Let's get right into the energies around you for the month of December. Angels and guides, angels and guides. Now remember, this is not a love reading. This is not, not, not a love reading. This is, mm-hmm. This is a general message, yes, 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 for Pisces. Hmm, angels, what's going on for Pisces for the month of December? Angels, what's going on? What is going on for Pisces? December. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Yes, 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 we're looking for some joy. We're looking for some positive energy for lovely, lovely lovely Pisces. All right, so let's go ahead and add the angel's deck. Angels, what's the energy around Pisces for the last month of 2020? Hmm, angels, positive energy, positive energy for lovely, lovely Pisces. I feel like we can just throw in some of the dragon's deck. Yes, we can. Throw in the dragon's deck for Pisces angels what's the energy what are the messages for lovely intuitive Pisces yes yes and yes and let's go ahead and go ahead and top it off with the hummingbird deck angels and guides angels and guides positive energy please for the hummingbird deck yes and yes angels what's going on thank you thank you thank you just a few more. Don't click away. We're almost there. I'm like, Dora, that sure is a lot of cards on that table. Angels, positive energy, please. High vibrations for lovely, lovely Pisces. Yes, yes, and yes. Come on, angels. What's going on? What is, what's the messages? What are the messages for Pisces? Come on, angels, what's going on? I thought goes there. Hmm, angels. One more, just one, uno mas, <laughs> just one more. Okay, angels, just one more, please, for Pisces. You're like, hurry up, Dora. There, you know what, There's. this is a big message. This is huge. Okay, don't click away, this is huge, okay? Oh, wow, all right, all right, Pisces. Let's get in, let's get into your message. I feel like this has to be up right side up. We want, we want the we want the positive energy out of that. All right, so Pisces. All right. Mm, okay, so there's a lot going on this month. So we have the ten. The major theme is the ten of wands. Yes, with the Joker, the Jack of Hearts, Moon Cycles with Diversify, the Joker again, and the Jack of Hearts. Yeah. Yeah, that's all I can say is yep. <laughs> all right, so Pisces. Yes, the main thing is there's a ton of work to be done this month. With the Joker, you don't even see this work coming. There is a sacrifice that must be made, and it is for the highest good. With the moon cycles, you're like, I don't know how I feel about this. Mm -mm. No, you don't, but you can do it with the Diversify. You can do it. You're going to do it in a different way than what you used to do it. With the Joker, again, there's a lot of things that are coming up again with the Jack of Hearts. There is there's something that's coming up. You're going to have to make a big sacrifice for this month, and it feels like, like it's going to be a lot of work on the onset. But I feel like because you handle it, handle it in a different way, that it's not going to be as, as difficult as you think, okay? So if something comes up and you feel like, you know what, I have to do this, then I hear you saying, oh, no. Then I hear you saying, I have to do this, right? Like, you just have to do it, okay? All right. And you don't have to do anything but, you know, die and pay taxes. But in this situation, you're like... It's for the highest good, and I know I have to do it, all right? Now, when we look at the recent past, we have the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Spades, yes, the Nine of Hearts, the Nurture card with the Gratitude, the Nine of Hearts 
again, there's a lot of repeats here, and the king of diamonds. So in the, re in the recent past, we had the queen of wands is saying that you were definitely standing in your power in a very deep new beginning. This new beginning caused you to do a lot of giving in regards to love and nurture, right? But you were grateful to do it, to give all of this love, because all of this love put you in a place of power, okay? Yeah, you got to wear your crown because you were like, the, I want to say you, someone was looking up to you and someone was so appreciating all that you did for them, all right? Now, when we look in the middle of the month, we have the Ten of Swords with the King of Spades, the Jack of Spades, with the Outdoors, the Companion, with the Two of Hearts, and the Ten of Spades. And this seems like what is going on in the middle of the month. With the Ten of Swords, it feels like someone does not have your back, okay? With the King of Spades, this is a lot of work for you. Even though they don't, it feels like they don't have your back, I still see, you know, I, you know, I know that you know who this is, okay? I, I'm just going to say it. I know that you know who this is, and I see you distancing yourself a bit from whomever, whatever the situation is that doesn't have your back. I see you moving closer to someone else. With the two of hearts, this person is more um, loving, more kind. Are they a lot of work? Yes, but it's going to be successful, okay? So if you are in a situation where maybe your job doesn't have your back, I see you maybe moving somewhere in a different sphere where they're not at. Maybe you're changing departments. Maybe you're living somewhere and you don't necessarily like that, right? Or maybe you're in a relationship and you're like, you know, this person doesn't have my back, right? But... We're going to move on to the end of the month, okay, Pisces? At the end of the month, we have the Six of Wands reversed with the Four of Clubs, the Two of Hearts, Spiritual Understanding, Observe, Six of Spades, Ten of Hearts, and the Eight of Hearts. So I feel like at the end of the month, you're still not feeling like you're appreciated. You're, you're not feeling, and you know, for a matter of fact, you know you're not appreciated by someone that you literally care for, but with a spiritual understanding, you understand right where they are. You observe, this is, maybe this is all they can do. Maybe this is all they have in them. Maybe these are the tools they were given at birth and they can't express what they need to express the way you want them to. Maybe this has gone on for quite some time, but I see love around you, a lot of love around you. With the eight of hearts, I feel like you actually have a lot of charm. So don't get stuck in the muddle. Don't get stuck in the, oh, this person didn't do this for me. Oh, this person um, didn't celebrate me and things of that nature. Because as soon as you turn around, there is a ton of people that want to lift you up and show and just shine on you or you shine on them. So in one regard, there's, yeah, they don't have your back, but they do. <laughs> they do. Okay. All right. So let's move on to the bonus. The bonus. You have the devil card reversed with the five of cups reversed. The page of pentacles reversed. The sun reversed. The jack of diamonds. The ace of hearts. Leadership. Mm-hmm. Friends, is that beautiful? Yes, yes, yes. The Ace of Clubs, the Jack of Diamonds, and the Joker. So, Pisces, what's going on here? You are definitely t detaching. You're detaching in your bonus. You are detaching from any type of relationship, bond, business partner that was unhealthy for you. You are now turning in another direction. Yes, where it is healthy, where it is safe emotionally, You're, where people do honor their word. Yes, because where you are is not feeling good, but you know you can, you can easily, with the Jack of Diamonds, attract people in your world that will mm -hmm, put you first. Yes, you will. You're taking a, now a leadership position. You're no longer following and waiting for crumbs. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. There's other people in your world. There is a new beginning. You're thinking differently. With the Jack of Diamonds, you also are having fun with it. Almost like, all right, okay. Well, I'm going to go over here where they're screaming my name, where they want to spend time with me. 
you, okay, you, you, you don't have my back, you, you don't want to speak highly of me or kindly of me, that's okay, that's okay, because I'm going to go right across the street and, and get my accolades with the Joker. And you're, you're ending the year with a Joker, with a big surprise. So as soon as you turn around, whether it's friends, family, romantic partners, businesses, jobs, whatever it is, you're going to, you're doing this about face. That's a military term. You're doing an about face. Where, where you have been, if people have not had your back, if people have not lifted you up, you're doing an about face and you're going in a direction, you're leaving all that behind. You're, the struggle of trying to get someone to see you, get someone to appreciate what you've done for them. You're done with that. You're moving straight into all the sunshine because that's behind you. Everything in 2021, expect to be celebrated in 2021, okay? Because you're turning it about face, all right? So I send you joy, namaste, and much, much love sent your way.